Coming soon, Arcane Rising, 2020. There is a darkness spreading across the land. As grotesque creatures rise from the shadows, a long-forgotten power reemerges, with dark machinations that threaten to upset the delicate balance of Wraith. After its surprise closure several years past, Natalia's salon has opened its doors once more. The pioneer of biomancy for the common man, they boast a full new collection of mechanical limbs and augmentations. For the discerning reader with some extra coin, Natalia's has also unveiled a dashing new prototype, utilizing the latest in steam compression technology. We are sworn to secrecy on the exact details of this prototype, but clients are certain to be blown away by the innovative approach to mechanical biological enhancements. In other news, the Iron Assembly has released new details of a plan to create a more homogeneous messenger system. While it will still incorporate the steadfast copper wing design, we have heard rumors that there may be a new upgrade, courtesy of the dashing Teclo Industries. As I have failed to dissuade you from visiting that place, at the very least, you should heed my warning. The underground caverns are occupied by remorseless and desperate individuals who lack any sense of morality. Whether for their own gain or for sheer amusement, there is little that they would not do. Stay away from the shadows, avoid being caught alone, and above all else, be wary of the spiders. The attack was a complete success. In addition to eliminating the main structure, we found a small number of fledgling crops that they had managed to establish. There was little to be harvested, so we raised the lot to the ground. The wizard you sent conjured a firestorm to finish off the remainder of the settlement, and the deserters quickly turned themselves over to our forces in an attempt to escape the flames. With everything reduced to ash and smoldering ruins, those few who did not appear have likely been reduced to ash as well. If anyone did survive the attack, they will likely starve. The only other settlement in the area is run by General Stauda, whose reputation concerning runaways is well established with the court. Finally, in the second species, which is also called Nigromacia, and is affected by the appearance of the dead. They do such things through the blood of a man or of an animal on certain characters, knowing that Damon loves blood, that is, his shedding. They think that they call themselves to answer the questions, such as things appear, the demons exercise in their similitudes. For this could be of little use, and perhaps even to injure, for the prohibited books of Nigromancy are not introduced here since this kind of superstition is not practiced by books or by the learned, but by the unskilled, to follow witchcraft like a sorcerer. 